Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Nelly A.K. Owl Tarot and today I'm here to bring you guys your December 2022 reading. We're going to tap into your overall energy for the month of December, see what's coming towards you in regards to love and finances. We're also going to do a quick sneak peek as to what's going to be coming towards you in 2023. Then we'll get you some overall messages and outcomes. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians, please help me give my Libras clear and concise messages. What is their overall energy for the month of December 2022? Guys, keep in mind that these readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Overall energy here. First card out, I have the Emperor in the reverse. Okay? Then I have the Devil and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Wands bottom of the deck and the page of pentacles hmm. what is going on here so libra you could be dealing with an emperor in the reverse um you can be dealing possibly with a fire sign or airy sign but what i do get from this person is that you're dealing with someone who is very stubborn reckless um toxic has addictions, temptations, a wandering eye, I just heard. Um, and the, with this Queen of Cups energy in the reverse, which I feel is you, you no longer want to deal with this person who is co who's codependent, um, who could be jealous, insecure. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may want to be having a, a conversation with this person because you might even be choosing another option here because there is someone new that's getting ready to come towards you. For some of you guys, you already walked away from this Emperor in the reverse. And in the month of December, there is a new a new situation coming in for you. But the point, whatever happened to you in this in this past year, you're letting go of people, places, and things. You do have the two of cups for the month of December, so there is love coming towards you. Okay, after a very burdening um, couple of months, you were carrying too much stress. You were going through so many things. It's like finally you let go of a situation that was toxic and, and burdening and you start going towards something more abundant and loving, okay? Um, with the hermit here, I feel it took you a while to start the dating scene, okay? You didn't want to start dating anyone else because you were still trying to heal from the past. Um, you weren't really wanting to deal with another connection or another person at all. But I do feel that this person... When you least expect it with this Four of Swords energy as you're resting and rejuvenating, this new person will pop up into your life with the Ace of Wands energy, possibly a fire sign here. But this person wants a passion and new beginning with you. You got the Six of Cups energy. Okay, what is the Six of Cups energy for the month of December here? And the Ace of Pentacles. The truth of the matter, guys, is that I feel that you might even be dealing with your ex in the month of December where they find out that you could possibly be dating somebody new. Your ex is going to try to make his or her way back towards you. And they're going to be offering you some real big ass pentacles here. You might be guarded towards your ex though because of all the shit shows and shenanigans this person put you through. But look at they have the ace of cups energy. You got three aces on the board right now. The month of December is going to be very stable for you. Very abundant for you. And I feel like you're just, you're just going to have a lot of options. Five of Cups energy this month, you have no reason to be sad. You have no reason to be um, feel disappointed. Um, I feel that people around you are sad and disappointed that they lost you. But I feel that your energy is going to be an abundant one, though. The justice. Why? Because finally justice is it's coming in, okay? The person that hurt you in the past is now seeing you be happy and seeing you move on to bigger and better things. And it's starting to get to them. Four of Wands energy, shit, okay? And the Six of Swords. The truth of the matter with the judgment here, I feel that when your ex finds out that you've moved on to something else, they're going to come in here with big offers, okay? Big, crazy, massive-ass offers. And for some of you guys, you might choose to go back to your ex because this new connection to you, it's a page of pentacles. It's something small compared to what you and your ex have already done, okay? The good or the bad, you guys have already done something here, okay? Yep, there you go. Three of Cups energy. There's an opportunity for a reunion or reconciliation here, Okay. For some of you guys, you've been waiting for an apology. Truth of the matter, you might not even get it, but you might even forget it. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be in such a happy place. What is this overall energy here? I feel that when you decide to start moving on towards another connection or dealing with someone else, Libra, this person comes in out of nowhere. Yeah, five of swords energy in the reverse because they're wanting to make amends. They're wanting to apologize for their past mis mistake. Um, they have a lot of remorse and regret. What else is going on here for December, universe? 
Yeah, the Eight of Swords energy. So there's 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 um you leaving the past in the past and the manifestation coming in. Okay. So if you were hoping and praying for this, I feel that you're about to get those blockages removed because there's a lot a lot of major changes coming in here. Okay. The truth of the matter is that I don't even see anything else going on other than your love department. For some of you guys, you haven't been dating for quite a bit, and someone's gonna pop in for you. We will tap into that energy really good. But it's it's all about you making um doing um making some decisions for the month of December, choosing on the choosing the right person to move forward with. What is Archangel Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians? What is the overall energy here for my Libra in regards to love for the month of December, please? What is the overall energy for Libra in the month of December regarding love? Three of Cups. Yeah, there's a reconciliation here. There's a celebration. Now, the month of December does bring in a lot of celebrating, a lot of celebration. You know, we have Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. So we have a lot of things going on. But the truth here, I feel that there's a soulmate energy coming back together. Okay. I do got to be honest with you guys. For those of you guys that want new love, you can definitely decline this offer. Because either way, I feel that you're going to be finding love. But for those of you guys that are waiting for someone from your past, the truth is, yeah, this person is leveling up here. King of Pentacles energy, you might be dealing with an earth sign. But look, at this person's getting ready to take a leap of faith towards you. What's going on with the situation here for my Libra for the month of December universe? Yeah, expect communication. Expect an, uh, expect an offer. Expect a text message here. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this overall energy here for my Libra for the month of December? Yeah, someone here has gained clarity with the hangman. So I feel that this person is seeing you move towards somebody else. And now they're in their feelings with the with the Seven of Pentacles energy here. Wondering, if I come back, will I be able to win my, my Libra? They're afraid that you're dealing with the third party. Okay? Um, and the truth of the matter is that they feel like they have to come in and they have to make amends. They don't have any more time. They have to move on this shit right away. So this person will be communicating to you, will be reaching out to you because they want something stable here with you once again. Overall energy here for my Libra. Yeah, Six of Swords. Someone's wanting to move towards calmer waters with you because now they want to have this passion and new beginning with you. I just heard, I'll be damned if you have that passion and new beginning with someone else. You might be dealing with the Leo sign, okay? So someone here got wind of you starting a date, starting to talk to someone. So they're going to start coming in towards you really, really fast. Because again, they're not going to lose you. They're not going to lose you. Five of Cups energy because you are their wish fulfillment. Yes, this connection was, had a lot of burdens in the recent past. There was a lot of shit going on. But this person says this, tells themselves, there's nothing that we can't work through. I'm going to offer this Ace of Cups to my Libra because I want my Libra back. So definitely the month of December... Your ex finds out that you're already dating or you're talking to someone new and that person rushes in. At the end of the day, it is your choice. Remember, you have free will, Libra, whether or not you want to entertain this connection again. Okay? So let's see what's going on with my Libra and their finances for the month of December. Universe, Archangels, Spirit, Angel Guides, and Guardians. What's going on with my Libra and their finances for the month of December, please? What's going on with them? Seven of Cups, Energy in the Reverse. And the page of cups. Someone here, you know, I feel like you might have went up for a new promotion, a new opportunity here. But for some of you guys, you're going to be going from this page of cups to the emperor. It's like you're being you're being given an offer. There was no option. They weren't choosing anyone else. At the end of the day, they were always going to choose you. Um, someone's been keeping an eye at work here because they know that you, you know, you know what you want. You know where you want to be at. You know how you want to move forward when it comes to to your to your business, to your money, to your family. Ace of cups energy here. Um, you're going to love this new opportunity that's going to be presented to you, okay? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Uh, just keep an eye with people around your work, okay? You may have some people that are going to be jealous. But at the end of the day, look, you got two aces here. It, they, you're, the company knows who they want. You're a go-getter, okay? This is this is the right decision. This is the right place. This is the right opportunity for you. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I don't know if you even seen this opportunity coming in, but it's going to come in, Okay? Because people here are interested in working with you. Nine of Pentacles, they see you as this pre-empress, okay? They see you as being in, uh, in hardworking, invested. Three of Pentacles energy here. Four of Wands energy. Like, you bring a lot of stability to, to the workplace. And they like that. They love your work ethic, okay? So, Five of Swords, like I said, be careful. You might have some people around you that are hating on you and your new opportunity. But there's nothing that they can snatch away from you, King of Swords energy, because the decision has been made. This is your new opportunity. You're getting to raise the promotion or the new job, whatever it is, but it's yours, okay? So your finances look really, really good. Your your work looks really, really good. I feel that you're going to close out this 2022 very abundantly and happy. 
So let's get a quick sneak peek of 2023. What's going to be going on for the first couple weeks in January of 2023 here for my Libra universe? A little bit of energy here. Two of Swords. I feel that like you're no longer going to be undecisive here. Okay. You're going to take on these new opportunities that are being presented to you towards the end of 2022. And the reason is, is because you, you're probably tired of being alone or you're tired of being in this anxious energy or you just don't want to deal or suffer with anything else anymore. So you do have victory and success moving forward. 2023 is going to be a very abundant year for you. Don't take too long on, on choosing some of these options, okay? Because I feel that as quick as they come in, it's as quick as they need you to start working on them, okay? You do have the Ten of Pentacles, stability, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool here. So again, a lot of beautiful new beginnings for you, both in love and in finances. And 2023 is going to definitely reflect the hard work you've done this 2022, okay? So definitely expect you an abundant, happy 2023. Final messages here for, for my Libra Universe, Archangel Spirit, Angel Guides and Guardians. What is the final message here for my Libra? The moon. Very unexpected changes coming towards you. But I do got to be honest with you. These are going to be positive, uh, um, unexpected changes. Um, with this page of wands here in the high priestess, make sure that you're using your intuition on everything. Don't just make a decision to make a decision because you might be lonely or because you want to be in a commitment. No, don't do that. Make sure that whomever it is that you're going to choose, whether it is new love or old love, is where you want to be. Okay? Don't settle for anything less is what I heard. You got the two of pentacles. Yeah, you may even have to be weighing out some options here, okay? Whether, you know, if it's two different job opportunities or two different lovers, but you will have to choose one. Three of cups. There's a lot of, there's a lot of beautiful moments getting ready to come towards you. There's going to be a lot of reasons for celebration here. And eight of wands energy. Everything's going to be moving very, very fast. So prepare yourself here, Hierophant. You're about to go into commitment. You're about to get that raise. You're about to be one of the big bosses within that company, okay? And the knight of cups energy here with the page of cups. So you felt or you thought that somebody here from the past was not going to reach out and send you a message or even offer an apology. You were, you were mistaken because someone is coming back, okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, the info is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.